Now this model kit review is of the Bradley Fighting Vehicle and uh, this is the M2, it's a 135th scale model and it is by Tamiya, we've got some nice box art here and looks like we're going to have some interior there it shows some of the details there and uh, don't see anything else, there's a picture some artwork there and a picture of the actual vehicle so let's open up and have a look inside a nice uh, size model expecting typical Tamiya quality so first of all we've got our tracks and these are flexible um, these will get joined together like that cutting that off and then you uh, will sear them together to get them to stay melt them together fairly typical and some uh, details here that is uh, not the English version okay here we have our main hole with our suspension molded in and uh, it's a fairly good detail there all the little bolts here we have a mesh screen and then also some plastic, clear plastic there and we also have these um, we're going to be for our axles for the wheels to be able to turn hopefully so typically if the um, if you have these and uh, you have the flexible tracks, usually the wheels will turn. Let's have a look at these uh, sprues here. Here we have our decals as well, look at those. Got lots of parts here. It does look like we're going to have a full interior, very nicely molded. And a good level of detail. Some of the controls, backpack there, some weapons no flashing or mold lines so that all looks pretty good and these screws here we've got uh, looks like some of the sides of the vehicle here with their armor and then that's uh, back there with the doors we've got a figure here uh, with our arms and then uh, some hatches Got a little cable there, some tools, but uh, very nicely molded. Here we've got our um, looks like a gun. We'll go up and down some of the hatch lids there, but uh, it's pretty clean. Pretty clean molding, so typical to me of quality, and it has a nice level of detail, both in parts to build as well as surface detail. Uh, here we've got. Uh, Looks like two of the exact same, they're both labeled A. So we'll go through that. We've got some wheels, we've got our sprockets. Uh, again, very well molded. We've got our uh, weapons there, cage, and then parts that are going to attach onto the uh, vehicle hooks and so on. Maybe for our gun there. Okay, here's the top of the hole. Look at that. That is incredible molding detail. That uh, very fine. And that all the detail well when you put some uh, panel line wash into that. But that is uh, really, really good quality. Here's the top of our turret. And the bottom looks like it's going to swivel around. And uh, all these little holes are places where attachments and things are going to go onto the... Um, the top of the main hole. So that is really, really nicely molded. Okay, so here we've got some details here about the uh, M2 Bradley fighting vehicle. Picture the finished model there and there. And uh, let's start there. Those are the colors needed there. So, got our wheels going on there onto the main hole. 
and uh, then our uh, ramp for the back as well as the uh, hatches and then the uh, rest of the wheels going on as well as the rear loading ramp uh, all that rear hatches as well it can open either way got a fire extinguisher for the inside there I've got a uh, floor so go in there for a nice detailed floor and then looks like uh, our weapons there and then uh, seats are going in and uh, a fair amount of detail as you can see I'm not sure how much of that you're going to be able to see though there's the inside of the uh, turret uh, some more seats going in and then into the turret gets mounted now inside the upper hole here we've got all our weapons and gun bays, gun ports. Now we've got our uh, weapon systems there. This is where we cut out the uh, transparent part there. And it goes in, looks like over there, for a little window, painted clear blue. And. Uh, smoke discharger. Here we're building the uh, turret with the weapons on that and the uh, rest of the parts then for the uh, turret. Lots and lots of detail. It really is incredible. So there's the uh, mesh for the rear and then uh, mounting the top of the uh, hull on there getting our tracks on and uh, don't forget to make the antenna and we've got our one commander there so incredible amount of detail it's very well molded here is our decal and paint guide and here you can see uh, second armored division there and then we've got our uh, third infantry division there And if you want to make a diorama there, shows you some of those options. Here are our decals. So those are actually uh, some good quality decals, typical of Tamiya. All in all, a great model kit.